Going on, Jerome, the NFL season is rapidly winding down, and a couple of coaches already been fired. Mm. Uh, and there's going to be a number of job openings this offseason. Frankly, it could be a record number of coaches fired. Uh, I think that there could be a quarter of the league turned over, and there's always a couple surprises. Mm. So so we'll dive on in, and our predictions, and we, we got tiers. So uh, we got the interim head coaches. We got surprises, question marks, pending on playoffs, probably gone, as well as Stone Cold Lead Pipe locks. So uh, first off, start at the bottom. Now we're here. So the two interims, uh, Antonio Pierce with the Raiders, uh, stupid ass <laughs> McDaniels. Just Josh McDaniels is the worst, the worst. Uh, I swear to everything that's holy, if he gets another shot to be a head coach, just cancel that team. Just like send him to the CFL, man, so they can have ten teams again. Wait, do they have nine? Hmm. Uh, Chris Tabor of the Panthers. Everything behind the scenes with the Panthers is so interesting. So after Frank Wright got fired, and it was pretty clear that there was guys that are you know in league uh, with David Tepper, and Chris Tabor obviously is one of them, and the fact that a number of position coaches just got axed, it's crazy, man. It's absolutely crazy what's going on in Carolina. It's like uh, they got the Hunger Games going on there in Charlotte, man. But uh, I, I don't think either of them have done enough to hang on to the long-term job. Although, I mean, the Panthers should have just rolled with Steve Wilkes. Steve Wilkes was great uh, last year as the interim, and frankly, he's done very well with the Niners this year, and uh, I think that he deserves to be a head coach again. Next up, uh, next here is the surprises. So our guy Rob Sala, Rob Sala of the Jets, Mike Tomlin, as well as uh, Pete Carroll. So Pete might just be – actually, is there, is there two R's in Pete Carroll? Hmm. All right, so uh, – caps locks, man. I'm very, very good at this. Uh, so Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll's 81 years old. That's not the truth, but except you had to think about it. But Pete Carroll is definitely getting long in the tooth, as well as they've lost four games in a row. I mean, Seattle was sitting very pretty uh, in the playoff chase a hot second ago at 6-3, and three, but they're very much in danger of potentially losing five games in a row and really falling out of things. And I, I don't see a, a very bright future with Seattle at this point. Geno's sort of whatever. Uh, you know, Lockett is aging out. DK is combustible jsn hasn't really taken off defensively i mean they have some nice pieces but overall i i don't see seattle suddenly becoming a contender within the next two or three years uh, I, I don't also i think that john schneider may be on thin ice as well so there may be a changing of the guard uh, with the seahawks mike tomlin now part of this is you know tomlin has been so stubborn it's just his way, and he stuck with Matt Canada way too long. He, he's frankly stuck with coordinators way too long uh, throughout his tenure. But also, I mean, I feel like a lot of Steelers fans are like, what have you done for me lately? It's been a hot second since the Steelers have won a playoff game, as well as, oh, it's like, oh, Mike Tomlin won with uh, Bill Cowers guys from back in the day, which I don't subscribe to. Uh, I do think that Tomlin is an amazing head coach. Uh, frankly, if he got fired – and you gave me a choice between Kevin O'Connell and Mike Tomlin. I love me some Kevin O'Connell. Uh, I've been hard on Kevin O'Connell because we expect a lot out of KOC, but I, I probably take Tomlin. Mm. And, and Rob Salah, I mean, it's unlike. Mm. Well, the Jets have bounced back, and Rob Salah is a defensive guy. He, he's a solid leader, and the Jets do have a great defense. I think that there's been a problem the way that they've operated the quarterback position now. You know, Zach Wilson's one-off game uh, is beside the point. I don't think that's sustainable. But, I mean, Tim Boyle, really? Going back to Zach Wilson, really? And I, I think that he could get a pass uh, with Aaron a Rodgers. And, frankly, the entire organization could uh, because of Rodgers getting hurt. Uh, but I think that if Joe Douglas goes, I think Rob Salah could go as well. And uh, is it going to be a weird spot where Nathaniel Hackett becomes head coach? I mean, come on. Come on. What, what a world, man. Uh, next up. So, pending on playoffs. So, these guys are on thin ice. And if they make the playoffs and do some damage, sure, maybe not. Mm. So, three of them. So we got Arthur Smith with the Falcons. Now, reportedly, barring a late-season collapse, he's going to be fine. I, I feel like Atlanta is such such a transplant city that it's hard to build up the fan base, uh, and you have to play exciting football. Like, when, when Michael Vick was there, they played exciting football. And it was under Dan Reeves. Like, nothing about Dan Reeves ever screamed ex exciting football, but that's when the Falcons were hyped. And the Falcons have all the talent in the world, man. And if they just get a quarterback, I don't believe in Desmond Ritter, but – I mean, they got Bajon, they, they got Kyle Pitts, they, they got Drake London, and Arthur Smith is supposedly this offensive guru, except he's wasting all of their talents. So if you're going to fire him next offseason, just do it this year. Just move on. I mean, his, his dad's got all that FedEx money. He's going to be fine. <clears throat> uh, Todd Bowles, 
So I feel like Todd's been on Todd, 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 Todd has been on thin ice ever since BA left. Uh, but you know, no Tom Brady, rolling with Baker, and you know Mike Evans and Godwin are getting older, and Godwin's wife is uh, you know cussing out Todd Bowles on social media and stuff. The defense. It's not as good as previous defenses, and that's uh, Todd's M.O. I think there could be a hard reset uh, in Tampa and go from there. Uh, the Bills. So McDermott's an interesting case because uh, I, I think GM Brandon Bean is safe, but you've seen McDermott throw assistants under the bus. Uh, they they parted ways with Leslie uh, you know, a couple off seasons ago, and also they fired Ken Dorsey midseason. Uh, but McDermott, I mean – the Bills supposedly had the Super Bowl window, except I think it might be closing. Even though, yes, they got to win at Arrowhead against the Chiefs. Can you do it in the postseason? I don't know if they can. And Allen is such – Josh Allen is such a hit-or-miss quarterback that I, 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 I don't know if McDermott's going to be long for this job. Also, yeah, the fact that the whole 9-11 thing came out from 2019, uh, I think that there's some cracks in the armor. <clears throat> uh, and I, I think McDermott could be on his way out. Next two, probably gone. So you got Dennis Allen of the Saints. Dennis Allen has always been a placeholder uh, ever since they traded stupid ass Sean Payton to the uh, to the the Broncos, and maybe they'll keep an, uh, him on for another year as caretaker as they go through the cap hell, which they're going to have next season. Uh, but I mean, the defense has been solid, and that's his side of the ball. But the decision to just keep going back to Derek Carr—it's so stupid. Right? And you're not utilizing Chris Olave, and it's just. It's just dumb, dumb football uh, with the Saints. Uh, and also, uh, so Eberflus, the Ikea toilet, I think he may be playing himself back into being safe. I mean, the the Bears' defense, respect, is uh, becoming relatively solid. Uh, I think Poles is probably safe. Uh, so I think that they could weather two years together. And so m- maybe I, I should put Ikea toilet in pending playoffs, although the Bears obviously aren't making the playoffs, but... I don't know. Uh, then lastly, three guys, Stone Cold, Lead Pipe Locks, Ron Rivera of the Commies, Brandon Staley of the Chargers, as well as Bill Belichick of the Patriots. Now, I feel like Belichick and Robert Kraft, they should have parted ways a couple years ago. Now, they you know they, they saw, say all the nice things in the media, except you could tell. Like, after the Patriots started getting success, they, they saw the pie of credit as finite. And, you know, Brady obviously deserves a ton of that, but... You know, how much did Belichick deserve? How much did Robert Kraft deserve? And, I mean, it's been a great working relationship, but it's over. I mean, they haven't won a playoff game in five years. Yes, they did make the playoffs with Mac Jones, but the, the future is not bright. The future is certainly not bright in New England. Uh, and I think that Belichick, I don't think he'll be all right fired. Frankly, I think that they'll trade him. Uh, Belichick to the Chargers makes sense. Belichick to the Commies makes some sense. Belichick to basically any job opening. Like if they want to make a splash, Belichick makes sense. And you know, Washington, you know, with you know Josh Harrison and also Magic Johnson leading the way. I think Magic wants to make a splash and getting Belichick in the nation's capital where I mean Belichick is the same age as Pete Carroll or roughly, uh, but I feel like Belichick is going to be a lifer either way. And I, I think that he still has some good coaching left in him. New England has just been talent deficient. Belichick needs to fire himself as GM. He needs to be only the head coach and then go from there. Staley, Staley might be the, the dumbest coach in terms of game management in NFL history. Like He is so bad. And also, he's wasting Justin Herbert. His defense is sort of whatever. Um, and also, I mean, Staley, you know, the comeback win in, uh, loss against the Jaguars last year in the playoffs, as well as the whole, Hey, let's not play for a tie. Let's call a timeout. And then we'll let the Steelers back into the playoffs from two years ago. He should have been fired. Then he should have been fired last off season. He should have been fired after the Vikings game. He should have been fired all, all over the place. Brandon Staley is terrible as a head coach, like maybe solid as a defense coordinator, but he's absolutely atrocious as a head coach and deserves to be fired. And frankly, uh, if the the Chargers want to build up a fan base in LA, like they can't keep wasting Justin Herbert's prime years, man. Uh, and then lastly, Ron Rivera, I like Ron. He's super classy, uh, but I mean the message has just sort of been lost. And Washington is clearly uh, after Snyder sold the team, uh, it's clear that uh, the new ownership wants to start over, and that's why they traded Chase Young and Montez Sweat. And Rivera is going to be on his way out. I mean, could it be a spot where the enemy gets bumped up? Because it does seem like him and Sling and Sam Howell have some uh, some connection, maybe. But they got to rebuild that offensive line. Sam Howell can't get hammered like that. And they got weapons all over the place with Scary Terry uh, and uh, Jan Dotson and, and company. So, I don't know. 
I don't know. Like it, it does seem like a relatively good job, uh, especially if ownership is uh, not as dumb dumb as Daniel Snyder. But who knows, man? Who knows? But uh, I mean, there certainly could be seven, eight, nine, ten job openings in the NFL this off season. It's always wild. It's always wild, man. But uh, that's it. Let's take a look at which NFL coaches could be fired uh, this off season. Let us know your thoughts on our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value. <laughs>